This is the latest addition to the Fitbit family and it's the Fitbit Ace LTE. And I would say this is designed more for the little wrists in your family. This isn't just a glorified step counter, it's a kid focused wearable that rewards children for being active. It also packs key features for parents. So you have LTE connectivity and we've been testing this Fitbit Ace LTE out. And I tell you what, we've not been disappointed. To start, the Ace LTE houses a decent color OLED display protected by that Corning Gorilla Glass 3. And this display gives you a whole new on-device experience. Daily activity tracking, arcade-style games, and kid-friendly virtual friends are all part of the package. And this is all powered by the same internals that power that Pixel Watch 2. These new features bring some really nice new additions to the watch. But the whole idea of this is to offer kids a gamified fitness tracking experience. This means a handful of interactive games that unlock based on your child's movements. And you need to hit move goals to access new levels on certain games. So when playing these games, the games themselves actually need to have movement. So if that's steering or if that's trying to hit a virtual golf club or do certain movements you have to do all of this to actually play the games on the ace lte one of our favorites polo 13 involves racing chickens around space in inflatable bathtubs and like it's weird but it's fun another is a golf game and this one is all about monsters competing in a tournament across the globe and apparently there's more games coming to the ace in the future the ace lte also has a little bit of nostalgia built in here because there's like a virtual friend that you can have which is quite similar to one of those tamagotchis from the 90s kids can access something called the bit valley to care for their eg so you can collect clothes accessories room decor and a few other things as well and the way you unlock this is by movement so it encourages the kids to get moving. The ACE LTE also works with a series of interchangeable bands and each of these unlocks new features and accessories in the Fitbit Arcade and Bit Valley. So each band comes with unique items, clothes and decor for that virtual friend. The ACE LTE isn't just about fun and games though, because it has LTE connectivity inside so you can do GPS tracking, you can do calls, you can do text messages as well, all while the watch sits on your child's wrist. The battery can last around about 16 hours between charges and it can charge from 0 to 100 in around about an hour and it sends reminders to charge before sleep and it can be used as an alarm clock as well. It has 5 ATM water resistance as well so it can be submerged in water and used for swimming. You can use this with both an Android and an iOS phone and parents can set up and manage the device and add things like trusted contacts. They can send the calls and texts like we mentioned before and check in on the location. And we found this to be pretty accurate with its location tracking. The LTE features don't need another phone number, but they do require an A subscription, which is either $9.99 a month or $120 for the entire year. That includes the 4G LTE connectivity, GPS location tracking, phone calling and messaging, and access to Fitbit arcade games, and access to the Bit Valley and all of its software updates. The Ace LTE is definitely aimed at children and probably children pre-phone and even pre-advanced smartwatch, but it is a bit costly. At $229 for the watch and then that Ace subscription on top of that, you might find this a bit of a hard buy, but when you do get this, what you're doing is making sure that your kid is healthy and safe and you always know where they are through that GPS tracking and you can contact them easily without giving them a phone. What it will do though is it'll get them moving and like we mentioned the games really do help with that having to be active all the time to play them and have more unlockables but let me know what you think in the comments below of the ace lte do you think that this is something that you would buy for your child or is it just a little bit too expensive with that subscription talking of subscriptions make sure you subscribe to the android authority youtube channel before you head off and if you do that i'll see you in the next video